What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Spicy Rock Enjoyer channel. Today I'm going to tell you the average civilian that watches gun tubers or wannabe gun tubers in my case, how to use hand grenades. What? Trench? I can't buy them on Amazon yet. Guys, if your fantasies about WROL SHGF happen, you might, be, you might want to watch my previous hand grenade video and this video in conjunction with some of my other ones to be able to use hand grenades. Everything I covered today is unclassified, but we'll probably get on some watch list. I'm just using this for Minecraft, guys, and for entertainment purposes only. Use this in your Minecraft Grand Theft Auto server. Guys, hand grenades. They're important. They're going to keep you alive. Did you know that two... Percent of all hand grenades are duds. We'll talk about that. Okay, guys, if you want to support the channel, like it, comment on the video, leave a rock with a fire emoji because spicy rocks, or no, better yet, leave that spicy pepper emoji with a rock because we're going to throw some spicy rocks. Okay, Patreon, you know the deal. $5 a month gets you access to our Discord server. You get to talk to me, you get to DM me, and I'll actually reply, and it'll be cool. It'll be fun for both of us. Okay, check that out. Palmetto State Armor, if you need to buy some stuff and some things, get down below and buy all your Minecrafting things. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sick. Okay. Hand grenades. Spicy rocks. Guys, think about hand grenades as, you know, in Airsoft, when you just want to get that peek or paintball or, I don't know, Call of Duty or something, when you you just want to peek around the corner and then that guy snipes you in the face. Hand grenades are really cool because you can throw them at people. And if you're smart and use them effectively, you can make those people not want to fight you anymore because there will be uh, pixel blood coming out of their nose and their ears because you will have concussed them to death. And if you get lucky, you might even get a 15 meter hit. Okay. So let's talk about it. Before we talk about it, guys, when every, everything I discussed today is for entertainment purposes only, it should only be used for video games. There's another disclaimer. Another thing, guys, think about hand grenades as your last chance at life. Okay, they're average of three to four pounds. There's two types. You got frag and HE. Fragmentation grenades explode up and out and are really good at putting a bunch of razor blades through the Endermen in Minecraft, okay? So frag grenades are really cool. I have been trained on frag grenades. Frag grenades have a 15 meter maiming radius, okay? What does that mean? That means if I throw it at you and all your buddies, even though y'all run around and scatter and try to take cover, a couple of you guys are gonna get some spicy razor blades. That's really cool. High explosive grenades, you're gonna see a lot less of these in the Western hemisphere, but HE grenades are really, really dangerous for about one person. It's gonna blow that one person in half. It's gonna be really crazy in Minecraft, okay? Uh, good luck getting their diamond pickaxe back. It's gonna be really unfortunate. All right, so that's the difference between fragmentation and HE grenades. 15 meters. It's important that you understand 15 meters because when you throw that spicy baseball around that corner, leave a baseball emoji down below. When you throw that spicy baseball, you need to understand if you're going to be in that 15 meter radius where you're going to die. Okay. Or no, not die, but you're going to take a lot of frag, right? So it's going to explode up and out. So 15 meters is going to be super important that you understand uh, the maiming radius. Five meters. For a fragmentation grenade, anything within five meters is going to die. So why is that important? That's important because you need to understand the effectiveness and the standoff of everything as you're utilizing these grenades. Coughing break. <coughs> yes, I'm sick. Okay, uh, so yeah, five meters. That's going to be very important. Why should you understand that? Okay, because you can only throw a hand grenade 35 meters. That's something you're going to have to understand. If you can only throw the hand grenade 35 meters, you need to understand the effectiveness of the type of grenades you are using. If you're using an M67 hand grenade, that might be kind of important. Google it, Wikipedia, it's going to be a good time. Okay, last thing I want to leave you with. 2% of hand grenades are duds. Hand grenades are heavy. They weigh about the same as about four fully loaded rifle magazines for your uh, AR-15. So if you come across on Amazon or wherever you got these legally, these M67 hand grenades in Minecraft, you need to understand that 2% of them are going to be duds. So don't rely on them, and it's super unfortunate, okay? Just remember this acronym or this uh, little jingle, and you'll be good to go for entertainment purposes only. Okay, proper grip, thumb to clip, twist, pull pin, sneak a peek, strike a pose, frag out. I'll say that one more time. Proper grip, thumb to clip, twist, pull pin, sneak a peek, strike a pose, frag out. You might want to clip that, save it to your uh, 
I don't know, save it to your audiobooks and just listen to it like a fanatic. I'm just kidding. But guys, like I said, like the video, comment, learn how to use hand grenades. It's going to be super important, cough break, <coughs> for all your applications in your video games. If you enjoyed the video, like it, comment, leave a comment down below what you want to see next. And until next time, this could be Trench Grenade, your average proper grip, thumb to clip, twist, pull, pin, sneak a peek, strike a pose, frag out, enjoyer that your mom said that we have at home. Signing out. Cheers. Say that 10 times fast.